So you all know what time it is, right? <laughs> Nintendo Talk Time. So we're going to start off with one of my favorite indie games in all the land, uh, SteamWorld Dig. Yesterday, it was announced by Image and Form that they are going to be taking SteamWorld Dig to PS4 and to Steam in addition to Switch. Now, it was originally announced at the Nindies Direct that it will be going to the Switch. Um, I think it's kind of cool that we're watching Image and Form actually grow and... Um, actually get to the point where they are able to put this thing out on multiple platforms all at one time. I'm really excited for them. They are a great team. They do some great games. You guys really got to check out their games. SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Heist, now Dig 2. I'm excited for Dig 2. Uh, the main thing is is that they are basically locked in. They're, they're doing some polish. We're looking at a release because original release was 2017. We're still looking at 2017. They're looking late summer, early fall. Knowing image of form, I think we're going to get it closer to fall. And it might even slip to holiday. I just have a feeling, neither here nor there, that doesn't matter. Because I know that when the game finally gets in our hands, it'll be really good. And it'll be done, and it'll be polished. Good stuff. Another indie darling, Jules Watchem. So today, Jules on his Twitter account announced that... Um, Nintendo basically has Chicken Wiggle back in their hands for a second time. Uh, they, he just got announced that there were some bugs in it. They went back. They fixed the bugs. They put the game back out. Uh, go watch the full breakdown from Jules on his YouTube channel. The link's in the description. Go check that out. But he essentially talks about price, $14.99 for Chicken Wiggle. It's a 3DS game, over 40 levels. Not to mention there's creator mode in it. Jules is actually making additional levels that he's going to put in there for you guys and everybody to download and be able to play. Really cool chicken wiggle, 2D platformer, cute little chicken with a worm and a backpack. Kind of really unique and, and amazing. There's, um, you know, you're looking at a creator mode where you can actually build levels and, and share them across the internet. It's what Mario Maker should have been, honestly. Jules is doing it right, man. There's all kinds of stuff. Leaderboards, go check it out. You got to go check it out. So I think the biggest question on everybody's mind ever since yesterday when the Super Nintendo Classic Edition got announced, will we be able to pre-order this in the United States? So when the NES Classic hit, we weren't able to pre-order. It was a crapshoot. You knew when it was coming out and you just had to line up. I think the difference between this time and last time was we didn't get placeholders. There's a lot of placeholders going up for this, and I think that might bode well for us. That might lead us to some pre-orders. My gut thinks we'll get pre-orders this week. Um, I hope so. I really want us to get pre-orders. That would be amazing. This is all pure speculation. I mean, I don't have any inside news with all this stuff, but like when you're looking at everything and you're seeing that, like, Europe went up already. Australia went up. Europe's gone up a couple times. Uh, Germany got them. You know, Amazon Germany got them. Uh, Nintendo UK got them, I think, a couple of times. It's been a few times these things have been hitting. So the cool thing about this, though, is essentially what the European version is and the United States version is, they're all the same games. The only difference is, is you're looking at the way it's designed. The European one is designed like their Super Nintendo. The North American one is designed like our Super Nintendo. Then you throw in the Super Famicom. That's also coming out, which that version looks very similar to the European version. Difference is there's a couple additional games. I think there's four games that are different than everybody else's. Uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja, uh, which was a great game. Um, and then there's also... A Fire Emblem game, and then there's a couple other Japanese. There's a soccer game, and there's a Japanese head drink game that I'm not even sure I've never heard of. So, um, but it's cool. It, you know, the box design is a lot like the original box design and all that stuff. Like, they're really doing a good job. A lot of fan service in these little consoles. So, I'm excited for them. I really do feel, though, guys, we are going to get pre orders. I really feel it in my heart of hearts. I feel it. Um, 
and I got no insider source, oh, honestly. Um, but it, if you are looking for the placeholders, go to Nin Mobile News, go to their website. He just launched it today and announced it today that he has all the placeholders, the links you can click to Amazon, Walmart, wherever it is you want to shop, you can go. Uh, Nintendo Wire also did the same exact thing. So go check out them two websites, whatever you're a fan of, go hit them up, go check them out. Uh, they're, they're doing amazing work, both both sites. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get pre-orders? What do you think? And what do you think about these games that are coming, these indie games? You know, SteamWorld Day 2, Chicken Wiggle. Are you interested? Are you not interested? Where do you lie with all this? Follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at Nintendo Gurus. If you like the video, please click the like button. Share it with all your friends. If you're not a subscriber, you know, you can hit the subscribe button. There's nothing wrong with that. That is all. See me later.